Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Crater. Day 10. Today is August 10th, 2017. And I'm writing in my planner just so I don't forget some of the stuff that I've created already. And today we're going to be doing Bell Revisited. And I'll explain that to you once I finish writing this out. So we are officially one third of the way complete with Crater. And I hope that you are enjoying this. Again, this came from the Dollar Tree. And whenever I do buy planners, I like the ones that have big spots in them. Big open place that you can write. And this is the one that I thought was um, the prettiest. The other one had pretty colors. But this one, even though it's pink and black, it, had, it was simple yet pretty. So... What we're going to be doing today is revisiting a Christmas in July project. I showed you this on one of the Sundays that I did the Christmas in July hop that we just finished up in July. And this is the one that has the Christmas tree laying on its side. And I said that I would show you what I did to construct the bell. I'm not going to put everything together because um, it's not needed. What I'm going to share with you is what I use, which is this, and these come in six pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm quite sure any dollar store have them. You may be able to get them at a big box store like Wally World, Target, Michaels, Joanne Fabric. I may try to get another project in since this one should be fairly quick and easy, but if not, then I'll put this to the side, all that rattling you hear in the background, and do that tomorrow, or Saturday or Sunday. So, I do have some of the little houses that I have left over, and this comes from a die, a stamp and die set from Michaels. A lot of you ladies commented that you had these already, which is great. Um, and as you can see, once you die cut it, it already has the folds, how you're supposed to fold it over. So I'm just going to show you that really quickly. And right here has these two little dots. The first time I did this, um, even though I think I'm very, very, very good with piece and paper together, you know, like from little dolls, I was like, what did they do? Is something wrong with it? But it's not. This is supposed to be a roof, this piece right here. So all you really need to do is fold it over and where you have your flaps, you just put glue on there and connect it. And this, the, I'm not going to pull out the stamp set because I don't have it next to me. But you fold it over and as you can see what I did, what I did was I stamped it out after I cut it. Because I like to make things complicated. But I would definitely recommend that you stamp this first and then cut it out because it's so small. And I'm going to pull out some glue. Hopefully I have some handy. I've been contemplating getting the art glitter glue. Um, and I think I've been contemplating it for the wrong reason. I've been contemplating because it has that little metal tip. And a lot of my glue doesn't have metal tip. It has the tip that comes with the glue. Not a big deal. As you all know, one of my favorite wet glues is the Adtech wet glue. I just don't care for their tape runner that much. And I'm quite sure it's probably operator error when it comes to the tape runner. Um, which is okay. Nicholas has not been fed. That's my that's my new disclaimer, right? I didn't feed my cat. Um, so, he may get a little bit silly. I do want to tell you all that I think I touched on it a little bit yesterday I'm not feeling well I've done something to my body I've been it's not like a flu where you don't feel well and if it do I must have walking flu excuse my shakiness I um you may not be able to tell but I can definitely tell that I have the hippie hippie shakes um so what I do is I just glue all the pieces down and again this doesn't have to be perfect for today because I am not really going to be trying to create everything I'm just going to show you the construction and if I was a good crafter you know like when you watch those craft shows on PBS or um, create because that's what it comes on PBS and they have a, a channel a cable channel that's called create where they show you different craft 
projects or hobbies because I guess crafting even though people don't want to admit it is a hobby until you turn it into your profession so you're really doing something that you enjoy doing and this glue is wet glue and wet glue doesn't dry that quick unless you're using something that's like quick drying and this is school glue so school glue in my opinion has always kind of dried fairly quickly again I have a ceiling fan over my head so it should dry well I would have used the Dollar Tree glue because it dries really really quickly but I um, I don't see it I usually keep my pieces to my right and I'm going to be redoing that in a couple of days because I need to store some of it so I just let that dry and then what I did because I wanted to make sure my dome fit so it would fit properly is I just took as you can see and I just glued the bottom right here is some um, velcro that I used to velcro this tree down and this is a Maya Road Christmas tree uh, I probably didn't need to do all that that, that wasn't really needed but it came out really nicely and those are probably going to be going in storage shortly storage meaning the box so now what I'm going to do is just glue the bottom of this piece of paper and we won't be putting any um, snow in it so you don't have to worry about it again this is just really a construction of the bell itself um, you can put whatever you want in there I was actually thinking about making some of these for my co-workers, the ones that I really, really like, and um, putting a picture of my baby in there for them, because they all seem to like babies until they get older. I guess we all do, right? Because babies don't know what's going on. Uh, um, older children that can get into things know. So, I've applied this here and when I first put this on here I was so worried that the house was going to come apart but it didn't it stuck well so now what you want to do again you can clean this off you, you know um, Joyce suggested I put a ribbon on it I don't really want to do that to mine but you can do that to yours um, just like that so now what you're going to do and I don't mind wasting this to show you all and what I mean by wasting this is not a complete project but it's just a how-to more so or how I did it a construction video I just took the e6000 glue I had the hardest time getting this glue off because my bevel um, or round portion whatever you want to call it had adhered to the tube top and I was like no don't do that Again, you can be a little bit messy if you need to be, or liberal, because it's going to dry clear. E6000 has the stinkiest smell to me. You see how right here it has that? I just kind of push down at the top of it so it doesn't... Um... And then I just push this down just like that. And if it goes in, it means one side is not straight. And so once you get it, I kind of just sit it in between my legs and um, work on another one. Let me clean my mess up. Okay, so while it's drying, you're probably thinking, what am I going to do with it? And what I did to try to hide or cover up the glue, even though it's going to dry clear, and if you have snow in here, it's going to dry clear. And I just kind of ran my finger around where, see, my house fell off, which is horrible. So this is a tornado house. Unfortunately, I destroyed it. Or maybe it can be the house that Dorothy was in from Kansas. Let me just leave it like that so it'll dry. But what you can do is take your finger, see how you have these little glue beads, and run it around. Also, what I did was I just took some rickrack and applied it around the edge. And I believe, yep, I used hot glue for that one. But what I've been doing as a cheat, kind of, is taking my double-sided tape and putting it down on the ribbon itself and applying it. So this is what we've done today, which is a craft revisited. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's just a quick how-to. 
so you can go from this to this to complete. Thank you all for watching. Happy crafting.